If you've been suffering with knee pain, there are five signs that you should never ignore when trying to decide whether you should go and get assessed. In today's video, I'm going to reveal what those five signs are, what they could mean, and what to do about them. If you don't know who I am, my name is Will Harlow and I'm the over 50s specialist physio here at HT Physio in Farnham. And today we're going to be revealing the five knee pain signs that you should never ignore. So the first knee pain sign that you should never ignore is giving way of the knee. And when I'm talking about giving way, what I'm meaning really is walking on it or standing on your knee and feeling like it's going to buckle underneath you. Now for some people the buckling actually happens, so they almost fall down to the ground. And for others there's just a sensation that it might give way. But either way, these people tend to not trust their knee very much and that makes it difficult to walk and to climb stairs and to stand for periods of time. Now if your knee is giving way, it's typically not a great sign. It could mean a number of different things. The first thing it could mean is that you've got significant weakness in the muscles around your knee so that they're not strong enough to support your knee and combine that with pain and what pain tends to do is it shuts down the muscles around a particular joint to try and protect it and if you've already got weakness there that might lead to giving way and a loss of stability. Now the second thing that giving way of the knee might mean is that you've got significant arthritis in the knee. So people who have severe arthritis they tend to find that they're walking along quite happily and then suddenly the knee will feel like it's gonna give way. And that's just a sign of the pathology. It's because there isn't much cartilage left in the joint, the body or the brain perceives that as a problem. And again, it shuts down those muscles to try and spare the knee. The other thing it could mean if you've got giving way of the knee is that you've got an unstable knee. And that might be the case because of a ligament sprain or maybe a meniscus injury. But either way, it could mean there's a significant injury inside the knee. So if you're noticing your knee is giving way, that's the first sign that you should go and get checked out. Now the second knee pain sign that you should never ignore is locking of the knee. When I'm talking about locking, what I mean is you're either sat down or you're walking and suddenly the knee will get stuck. And typically this getting stuck happens in extension, so when the knee is straight. So this is my knee model here. This is a straight knee and locking looks like this. So it's stuck straight. And even when you try and bend it, you can't. So in the end, the person has to get their hands either side of the knee and just slowly ease that knee back into flexion. Now, when this happens, it's really painful. It's quite alarming and it can be quite a scary thing because you think, why the hell is my knee getting stuck? What locking tends to mean is that there's a significant injury inside the knee, either to the meniscus, which is a shock absorber that lives between the bones in the knee, or to the ligament. So the ACL and the PCL are the two ligaments that live inside the knee. And if these are ruptured or torn, you might get locking of the knee as well. So we see locking of the knee quite commonly after an ACL tear, for like a footballer or a skier, for example, but also if someone's twisted their knee, torn their meniscus, then that can also cause locking. And the locking can happen because the torn structure gets trapped between the two uh, bones in the joint, and then suddenly the knee can't bend. Now, either way, locking is not a good sign. We call it mechanical locking. And if you've got that, go and get checked out because it's probable that something needs to be done about it. Now the third knee pain sign you should never ignore is deformity of the knee. And this sounds obvious, but deformity happens typically very, very slowly over time. When I'm talking about deformity, what I'm talking about really is the angle of the knee has either gone inwards, so as if it's a knock knee, or outwards, so as if it's a bow leg, okay? I can't show you that well on this model, but a knocked knee appearance would be like this. So the femur, the thigh bone's going in and the tibia's out. So it looks like the knee's trying to touch the other one. And then a varus appearance, which is the opposite, is when the knee is bending outwards. So there's a huge gap between the two knees. And typically what this means is that arthritis has progressed to a point where the cartilage has fully worn down in one side of the knee. So again, it's typically not a very good sign. You definitely shouldn't ignore it and it tends to correspond with worse outcomes with physio 
if there's a visible deformity. Now, if you wanna track how your knee's changing over time, you can measure the angle straight down the legs at the knee. So you've got the angle of the thigh and then the angle of the shin. It should be pretty straight. Sometimes there can be a few degrees of a bend either to the uh, medial side or the lateral side, but typically we don't want a big angulation at the knee because it puts stress either on the inside of the knee or the outside. And if you've got deformity of the knee, it might be that your arthritis has progressed to a point where it needs to have some kind of intervention. So if you have noticed that sign, do go and get checked out because it's definitely worth getting a second opinion. Now the fourth knee pain sign you should never ignore is swelling. And swelling is uh, quite common. It can be caused by a number of different things. It can be caused just by arthritis, which in which case it's not that worrying because it will come and it will go. But if you've twisted your knee or if you've fallen and you notice that over time it's getting more and more swollen, that could be a sign of a more serious injury. Now, what can often happen if you rupture a ligament in your knee or you'll tear your meniscus is initially there's not that much swelling. The knee looks pretty normal. There's a bit of pain but it just doesn't feel quite right. And then over the next 24 hours, the knee starts to swell. And I've seen this happen when I used to work in professional football. You'd have someone who'd get a bit of a knock on their knee. They'd say it feels funny, but not too bad. And then the next day they'd come in and it would be enormous. And that is a really bad sign. It means that it needs to get checked out. Now, if you notice your knee is going up and down and up and down in terms of swelling, it might just be that that is the way that arthritis is affecting you, in which case that isn't necessarily a worrying sign, but if it's happened after an injury, then definitely go and get checked out. Now, before I go on to the fifth and final uh, point for this video, just to let you know, over 91% of people who watch my channel haven't subscribed yet to the channel, and that means they're going to miss out on our new video. So if that's you, just take one second, go below this video, hit subscribe, and then carry on watching. And then the fifth and final knee pain sign that you should never ignore is extreme tenderness to the touch. And extreme tenderness to the touch is a sign that you could have a fracture or a more sinister injury in the knee. And what I'm talking about really is almost an inability to even touch the skin around the place where it hurts. So let's say, for example, you've fallen onto the front of your knee and you've hurt your kneecap. And if you try and touch it, it feels like agony just to put some pressure on the bone with your finger. If that's the case, that's one of the key signs of a fracture. So if you're noticing that sign, it's definitely worth going to get checked out. If you've had trauma, it would be worth getting an x-ray at that point. And if you're touching a bone and it feels like uh, you wanna jump through the roof, to me, that's enough evidence to suggest I would refer that person through for an x-ray. So if you've got extreme tenderness or you're pressing around the inside of the joint and it's very sore, that can mean a meniscus injury as well. So either of those cases do warrant a bit of a further investigation. Anyway, I hope that video has made sense. Those are the five knee pain signs you should never ignore. If you've enjoyed this video, please subscribe to the channel and feel free to pick up a copy of my book. It's called Thriving Beyond 50 and you can find it on Amazon using the link below. But thank you so much for watching. I appreciate your time and I'll speak to you on the next video.